Hey screen printers, have you ever had a bright white ink turn pink overnight when printing on a red polyester shirt? That is dye migration and all of us experience it. So in this video, we're going to show you how to use Viscosity Buster to do a dye migration test before you get on press. Here's what you need to perform a test. A heat press, in this case we're using a Stahl's Hotronics hat press. A nice bright white cotton swatch. I like using ring spun. And of course, Viscosity Buster and the tools you need to use it, like glasses and gloves. Today we're going to be testing two all-made fabrics the Night Sky Navy Tri-Blend, which is 50% dyed polyester, and the Space Black, which has a dyed polyester as well. Now, the cool thing about All Maze, it has dye migration testing already done for you in the decoration recommendations, but let's pretend it's not done, and this is how to do it. First of all, you take your white cotton swab. You're gonna put a little bit of viscosity buster, like a quarter size in direct center of it. The next thing we're gonna do is find an inconspicuous part of the garment that's not gonna ruin the garment. So I'm gonna use the bottom hem of the back of the shirt, I'm gonna put my white cotton swab right above that fabric. I'm gonna press it at 320 degrees for 30 seconds. When it's done, we're gonna peel off the fabric and we can actually see some staining immediately in the fabric. It's very important that you don't get this too big. It's probably a little bit too big right here, but we can see white versus the viscosity buster stained area. Next, we're gonna do the same test on our space black. A Little bit more careful applying the viscosity buster on that one. 30 seconds. Now let's go over how to analyze your results and how to choose the ink and printing process appropriately from those results. At MayLab, we use the AATCC scale, which uses a one through five, five being no dye migration and one being horrible dye migration. But those are like $800, so I use this simple gray scale I got for a few bucks. Right here we have our white, then we have our different levels of gray. So if you imagine this on a one through 10 scale, equating to a one through white scale, 10 or five being a great printing garment and zero or one being a horrible printing garment. You can see that our space black has a little tiny bit of dye migration, but not much. This would probably go as a three and a half or four on the AATCC scale. Counter that with our night sky navy and you can see that's probably around a two or a two and a half. So it's about double the dye migration of the space black. And just for fun, we did that 100% red polyester. Whew, we've got a bleeder right there. Now that you know you have some dye migration issues, what do you do about them? If you have slight dye migration, you might wanna to switch to low cure or low bleed inks. If your dye migration is in the middle of the road, you probably wanna to go to some type of polyester ink. And if you have really bad issues like this red fabric, you're gonna to wanna to go with a blocker or barrier underbase. Here you can see on this fabric, standard low cure, poly white, better, but to really get a good result, you have to have that blocker underbase. So now that you know how to never have dye migration issues on press again, all you need is to pick up some Viscosity Buster at ScreenPrinting.com. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. And thanks for pounding the print with Ryan. All righty. We are going to be using today, today, today.